Hello and welcome back. My name is Scorpios, and this week I am back with another build tutorial. So I have been thinking about building a cathedral in a Spanish style for a very long time, and I am very excited to present to you this design, as well as my process for building it. And with that said, let's get started. So I am going to start by going through the blocks that you will need for this build. The main block for this build is going to be yellow concrete, which you will need quite a lot. You will also need quartz blocks, and to be specific, you will be using a lot of uh, different variations of quartz blocks, including quartz slabs and quartz stairs. And for my particular design, I am also using a lot of bone blocks, but you can definitely use other white colored blocks instead. And you will also need acacia planks for the roof, as well as some dark oak trapdoors and a dark oak door, which will be for the main entrance of this cathedral. To get this project started, you are going to lay down a rectangular foundation first. And on the screen right now, I am showing you the number of blocks that you will need for each side of this foundation. And the next step is actually pretty simple because as you can see here, all I'm doing is building up the foundation and turning it into a box. In my case, the build height here is 22 blocks, but feel free to adjust at the height. For example, if you have limited access to concrete blocks, you should feel free to make the whole structure a little lower. And after that, it is time to start adding in some decorations. And here I am building some columns with bone blocks. And I'm also slowing down the video here to show you the space between each column. And on top of the middle portion here, I am going to add a triangle. But you don't have to worry about making it look exactly the way it looks here because we will come back and modify this. And for now, the more important steps are to place down quartz stairs along the bottom of these bone block columns. And after that, I am going to do the same thing for the top half of the columns. But this time, instead of one layer of stair blocks, I am going to place down two layers of quartz stairs and also make sure that the stair blocks are placed upside down. And directly on top of the columns, I am going to add one more layer of quartz slabs Except for in the middle portion here, I am going to create a little bit of an arch. And after that, I'm just going to make sure that the concrete wall is roughly in line with the arch. And the next thing to do is to start working on the two towers. I'm going to start by creating two squares. And once again, I am going to slow down the video to show you the amount of blocks there are for each side of these squares. And the next step is to build up the walls of these towers. And here I would recommend building these walls up somewhere between three to five blocks. And once that is complete, the next step is just to keep building up these bone block columns. And as you can see here, I'm just going to repeat the same process by adding two layers of upside down quartz stairs. And also make sure to add a layer of quartz slabs, but this time the slabs are going to be on the same level as the walls are. And that is because directly on top of the quartz slabs, I'm going to add another layer of quartz stairs. And I'm going to have the stairs facing each other like what you're seeing on the screen right now. And after that, I am going to add these bone block columns. And in my case, these columns are six blocks tall. And I'm also going to add some more half slabs to seal off the concrete blocks. That is looking pretty fantastic. And the next step is to replicate the same process over here on this tower as well. And once again, each bone block column here is going to be six blocks tall. And in order to decorate these bone block columns, I am going to add two quartz slabs and just make sure that there is half a block of space in between them. And you should be pretty familiar with the next step by this point. I'm just going to go around and add two layers of upside down quartz stairs like what you're seeing on the screen right now. And also connecting these columns with some extra quartz slabs. And once again, I'm just going to do the same thing over here on this side as well. And building the roofs on these towers is probably the hardest part of this building process. 
And here I am going to take some quartz slabs and extend the existing quartz structure. And I'm also going to do the same thing over here on this side. And directly on top of the upside down quartz stairs, I am going to place four blocks of acacia planks with one bone block in the corner connecting each side. And I'm going to repeat the process one more time to create a second layer. And after placing down a third layer of bone blocks, you're going to connect them up with two acacia stairs facing outwards with two acacia planks in the middle. And the fourth layer is going to consist of four quartz slabs directly on top of each bone block. And you're going to connect up these quartz slabs by placing down two acacia stairs facing outwards with two acacia planks in the middle. And directly on top of the two acacia planks, you're going to add two more acacia stairs. And for the four corners in between those acacia stairs, you are going to build some additional bone block columns that are two blocks tall with a quartz slab on top of each one of those columns. And top it off with some additional acacia stairs as well as quartz stairs. So that is basically the process for building a dome on top of one of these towers. And the next thing that I'm going to work on is the front wall of this church. So about four blocks above ground, I am going to add one line of quartz slabs. And I'm also going to create these crossed shaped windows. Uh, just make sure to line up the edges with some quartz stairs. And after doing the same thing on this side, the next thing is to work on the middle panel here. So feel free to stop the video if you would like to replicate exactly what I'm doing here. But basically, I am just creating a slightly larger version of uh, these windows. And the next thing that I'm going to work on is the main doorway. And I am going to start by knocking out a three block by four block space. And using bone blocks, I am going to create a bit of a white door frame. And I'm also going to create an arch on top using quartz stairs. And feel free to add another layer on top to make the arch a little pointier. And after that, it is really just a matter of putting in a door. And here I am using dark oak door. And I am also going to fill in the rest of the space using dark oak trapdoors just to make sure that you are holding down shift while putting down these trapdoors. And after that, I'm just going to finish decorating these towers by adding some additional bone block columns. And once again, I am going to decorate these columns using upside down quartz stairs and connecting these up using quartz slabs. And for this part, you do not have to be precise with your block placement. Just make sure that you are replicating the same pattern that you are using for the rest of your cathedral. So as you can see here, I am using exactly the same pattern to make sure that these towers look symmetrical. And after that, I am actually ready to move on to building the roof of this structure. And for this part, I will be using acacia wood slabs. So I am going to start with one row of slabs in the middle. And for each two blocks I build towards the side of this cathedral, I am going to lower the roof by half a block. So the end result should be this huge roof that is not very steep at all. And for both sides of this building, I am going to make sure that the roof lines up with the existing walls. But over here on the back side of this cathedral, the roof is actually going to be one block shorter than the wall. So exactly like what you are seeing here, I am actually going to build up the back wall here using quartz blocks. So this gives the wall pattern here a little bit of a variation and we will come back to modify this back wall here. But for now, I am going to work on adding in some windows. So once again, using bone blocks, I am going to build up some columns. And here I am also slowing down the video to show you the number of blocks that I am leaving in between each column. Let's also make sure that the top part of these columns are connected. 
Here I am using quartz slabs again and on top of each column I am going to place one quartz stairs. And this is just one of the details that make this wall look a little bit more structured. And for the same reason, you can also create these arches for each wall section by putting down some additional stair blocks. And as you can see here, I am just going to replicate the same process here on this wall as well. And now it's time to actually build a window. And for this part, I am going to start with a 6x3 space in the wall. I'm going to add two blocks on top to add a bit of a pointy arch. And on the back side here, I am going to add another layer of yellow concrete like what you're seeing on the screen right now. And I couldn't think of a way to explain what I am doing here. So instead, I am just going to focus my camera on this structure here. And this way you can pause the video and replicate what you're seeing on the screen right now. But basically this additional second layer here on the inside is going to require an additional 19 concrete blocks. And as you can see here, I am basically going to replicate the same process five times for each wall. And when it comes to decorating these windows, I am once again going to take out some quartz stairs. So at the very bottom of each window, I am going to place down three quartz stairs facing up. And on the top portion of each window, there's going to be another three quartz stairs. Yeah, and just make sure that you are doing exactly the same thing for each window. And the last thing that I wanted to work on is the back wall here. And as you can see here, I am just adding in two more bone block columns. And these columns actually correspond to the columns on the front side of this cathedral. And as you can see here, I am basically using the same column decoration that I'm using throughout the rest of this building. And for the rest of this wall, I kind of just uh, improvised and built in these horizontal lines. So this is a very simple solution to make this wall a little bit less boring. And there really isn't that much to this step. Uh, the only thing that I would say is to make sure that these lines are evenly spaced out. So that is all I have for this build tutorial. I really hope that you enjoyed th this video. And if you did, please consider leaving a like. And also, I just started streaming on Twitch. So if you would like to watch me build stuff on live stream, make sure to head over there and leave a follow. And with that said, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time.